You always know if you're in trouble if the principal closes the door after you're in, and he closes the door, and I'm going, uh oh, something is not good here. Uh, they said very little. Uh, they punched in a phone number, and you could hear all the beeps, and it, it was a long phone number, so I knew it was long distance. And uh, on the other end of the uh, phone was uh, Bob Ezrin, one of the greatest producers, if not the greatest producer uh, of all of Canada and perhaps the world. He said, uh, congratulations, Norm. You're the inaugural winner of the first uh, Juno Award for Teacher of the Year. have such a big connection with him because he cares about us so much and he puts so much of his time into practicing with us and he could go home at 2.30 but he stays here till 5 to watch us do our thing and he sets us up to go play at all these schools and everything and he just cares you know. This year I have a solo on trombone and I was having a really hard time figuring out how I want it to sound, what notes I want to play, because it was an awkward scale, it was an awkward rhythm. So I sat in here for about two hours and he just sat there and played it on keyboard over and over and over, all these different improvised runs, we wrote them down, he got me to play them all so that I could have the runs prepared to go out there and just put them together in my own order which was really nice because without that, I would have been able to go out and figure out how I wanted it to sound. The name Evolutionary is appropriate because he has changed from a, um, by description, just a, an instrumental music class, one of your standard music classes, and created a uh, revolutionary rock and roll music class. There's no other way to describe it. The Evolutionary uh, is a full credit course which uh, happens after school. Uh, they are marked, uh, attendance is taken just like regular school, uh, and these kids rehearse four nights a week from the beginning of October till about the first week in March. They are booked every week to uh, go out and to perform. So it's a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication. It's just a, a band and a program that has really clicked and really worked. I'm very proud of what has been accomplished. For a band to last 37 years, the longevity of this band is, is truly incredible. And uh, starting in 1979 and still going today, it, it shows value of what this band has, has uh, gave to these kids. very very small budget of $571 a year to run an entire music program and a band so when I received that funding that $10,000 grant for music counts uh, in came uh, some saxes and came a guitar in came uh, patch chords some microphones it was a lifesaver for me back then because uh, we were hurting very badly and uh, it just augmented the program and it allowed kids to play and allow kids to sing the change was instant. Uh, the kids saw this, uh, this stuff come in for Music Counts and uh, they were so excited to, uh, I, I mean, to have an instrument that actually played, uh, to have mics that actually worked and uh, uh, patch chords and guitars. When uh, these kids saw what it came for Music Counts, they were just uh, flabbergasted and were amazed. Uh, I would say they were so impressed that there was people in this world or an organization in this world that thought enough of them to do this for them. Uh, I would most definitely recommend that other schools uh, apply for grants such as Music House because as an administrator for a school, it's a challenge. It's a challenge to uh, be able to properly outfit 
um, a music department and to give it the attention that it deserves uh, on a year-to-year basis. So um, I would say that any school administrator should be encouraged to support an application to a program like Music House because it's only going to benefit their kids um, in more ways than their budget could probably allow on a year-to-year basis. Yeah.